Hi, Stephen Kevin. Wisdom. Good to see you guys. What's up? All right, so the craziest thing happened to me yesterday, uh, and th you cannot make this up. This is the craziest coincidence I've ever had happen to me in my career, in my, specifically. So if you were following yesterday when we were on the show, I was in Bend, Oregon, which I was visiting the last blockbuster that exists in America. And what that means is there were two left in Alaska. Those two closed down on the 16th, and they're now reopened for inventory sale. But the only blockbuster you can actually go to and rent films now in America is located in Bend, Oregon. So we already, we already knew I was there. So yesterday, I actually went to the store and shot a story for Fox and Friends. They made me an official name tag and put me to work, which was cool. I got to go behind the counter. I got to actually uh, use the IBM computers, which are still loaded with floppy disks to put the program into the computer funny, in order actually. to rent films. Um, so there's my name tag. So the next photo you're going to see is a close-up of the actual name tag. It's funny because the day before I went there, they didn't know that I was shooting a story that one of the employees, I was like, hey, can I buy one of the name tags? He's like, no, we don't have any. And then when I go in to shoot the story, the lady's like, oh, we got one for you. I'm like, cool. So that was kind of cool. Nice. So here's what happened. So I went behind the counter. Now, when I initially showed up, the first thing I wanted to do at Blockbuster was rent Terminator 2 Judgment Digs. That was the first film uh, that got me in, in love with films. I used to ride my bike to Blockbuster every single day, every single week, and rent it. So I told Sandy, who you see on the left there, the manager, I said, can we find out who has this movie? Because when I got there the, the day before, the movie was rented out. It was a day late, and the person was going to have to have late fees. So I was like... They are still charging late fees? They are. So I said, can, Sandy, can we call... The guy. So I looked in the system. I found the gentleman's name. His name was Brian. I called him up and I said, "Hey, this is Kevin from Blockbuster." <laughs> I was like, "I wanted to know. I just wanted to remind you that you have a movie out." And he goes, "Yeah, I know. I have five films out. I'm getting ready to return them to the store today." I was like, "Well, what did you think of Terminator 2?" I'm not kidding you. We ended up bonding over it. So when he was nine years old, this is the gentleman right here. When he was nine years old, he ended up. Uh, watching this film with his father, and it became one of his favorite movies of all time. Now, this picture happened completely by accident. He ended up showing up with the films while I was shooting the story. So one of those films happened to be Terminator 2. So there's Brian and I holding Terminator 2, and you can't make that up. I mean, that was unbelievable that he showed up in the middle of the time frame that I was there shooting the story, returning the film that I came there to initially rent. Um, so shout out to Blockbuster and Bend, Oregon for letting us come there, shoot this story. Uh, and then I had to get this photo because I haven't seen a candy necklace in a long time. They had candy necklaces. We all know the Blockbuster had famous candy sure. boxes. But having a candy necklace uh, next to my Jaws and my Terminator. Now, Did you uh, ever shoot the little pieces across the room? I didn't eat them yet. I haven't eaten them yet. But one thing that's cool, by the way, I put Jaws there because since Terminator 2 was out at the time that I was shooting the story, uh, Jaws was the next movie I thought I'd rent because I was wearing Jaws shoes. So when I got to go behind the computer and work on the IBM, I got to rent myself out the movie. They created an account for me. I actually have my Blockbuster card uh, right here. This is an official membership card and also my Blockbuster name tag. So, um, yeah, so one other thing, that, that it was just a crazy story. So we're going to have more from that on my social media. If you go to Instagram, you can follow the whole story there. But it was surreal going to a Blockbuster for the first time in a long time. I'm surprised when they ran your name, they didn't find old late fees. Yeah. Like 1999. I think my accounts were opened up by my parents at that mm. time because I don't think I was old so enough to open them. So parents had the late fees. Yeah, yeah they, they probably had the late yeah. fees. Um, but, yeah, there's some footage inside the <laughs> actual cool. store. It's they still cool. have... The exact same structure. They have the new release wall. They still get new movies. They had Ready Player One. They had the Rocks movie Rampage. And then we'll show this quick photo in the out. That was me uh, on Sunday after the uh, before the actual shooting of the story. So we'll have so more exciting. from that coming up. Yeah. But awesome. on my Instagram, you can watch more of it. Thanks, Kev. Good days next. We'll see you right after the break. Wendy Williams is with us.